So in this video, I'm going to be going through the same example that I did in the previous video, um, but rather than using the p-value method, I'm going to use the critical region method, so I can show you what we need to do there. Now, in the previous video, we also worked out the sample mean because we have this sample of 10 um, masses, so we know that's 4.038, so I've just made a note of that there. So we need to find the critical region. So critical region is x bar is greater than, because we're going to be going in the same direction as the inequality. So how do I do that on the calculator? Well, what I need to do is I need to go to menu, I need to go to distribution, I need to go to inverse normal. Now, for the calculator that I've got, the error is always to the left. Now, because we are looking to the right, uh, we want 10% at the top, I need to type in 0.9. So, visually, what's happening is I'm interested in this value here, where that's 10%. But the calculator, if I put 10% in, will actually work out this bit here, where that's 10%, because it only works to the left. So what I need to do is type in 0.9 as the area, and that will give me that value there. So 0.9. Now sigma is the square root of this value here. So 0 0.08 divided by the square root of 10. So it's about 0 0.0252. And the mean is 4. So the critical region is 4.0324, etc. So 4.0324. So visually speaking, this is your 4.0324. Our value, and that's the critical region, our value was 4.038, which is greater than that value. So 4.038 is greater than 4.0324. So it is in the critical region. And because it's in the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to suggest that the population mean mass of paperclips has increased. <laughs>